morning guys, Devin here. We're gonna be doing some at-home workouts because of the uh, whole virus effect. So what I wanna begin with is just a bottom workout, a lower body workout, just to warm up. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, start with 20 seats. Uh, grab yourself any uh, chair inside your kitchen. We're showing the, uh, the distance here that we don't actually need a lot of room to get these workouts accomplished. So we're gonna start with 20 seats. Down slowly, up slowly. We want to stay controlled. We want to keep our chest up, our shoulders back, a nice tight core while we're doing these. Breathe while we're doing each and every work. <laughs> All right. So once 20 of those are completed, we're going to work by using our some lateral movements around the chair. So as long as we have enough space, we're going to start on one side of the chair moving ourselves around, keeping our hips forward, just like when we do when we do our, uh, our footwork drills. Side shuffles all the way around. I want 10 times around one way, then we're gonna stop and go 10 times around the other way. To keep ourselves balanced, we can always touch the chair, move across, always be in contact with what you're, with what you're using, all your tools in your house. We stop, we've gone one way, we're gonna go the other way. Every time we work one side, we wanna work the other side as well. Going around, chest up, Eyes forward, using our feet. We're not crossing our feet over. Nice, good, small shuffles. Once that completed, once that is completed, uh, we're going to be doing our drills for opening up our hips. I want you facing the chair, legs up, up and over each side of the chair. Hips at 90 degrees, knees at 90 degrees. If you come in, get a closer look there. We're gonna start. Try not to touch the chair, controlled motions, opening up the hips, moving around. One leg, then the other. 20 times, five or 10 times each, you're completed. Last thing we're gonna do is finishing with 10 air squats. Chest forward, right next to your chair. Use your chair for balance if you need to, up and down. Nice, smooth, controlled movements. Practicing the exact same skills we use when we're doing the first part of this drill. And that's it.